Welcome to Vols Film Study. I'm Patrick Murray. An interesting part of the Tennessee-Alabama matchup, the Vols run game. 222 rush yards per game, second in the SEC against Alabama's run defense, only allowing 70 rush yards per game, best in the SEC, third in the nation. It all starts up front with Alabama's massive defensive line. Several 310-plus pounders, four former five stars in the rotation. As Texas A&M found out last week, you're going to have a tough time running up the middle against these guys. The Aggies' longest rush was 11 yards, and it came on a jet sweep to Christian Kirk, but A&M never went back to that play. Let's look at someone who had success against Alabama. Ohio State, 281 rushing yards against the Tide in the Sugar Bowl. I know, I know, Ohio State, they're super talented, but the Buckeyes' run scheme is actually very similar to Tennessee's. They run a lot of the same plays. Ohio State attacked the outside with the run game against Alabama, and it worked. Ezekiel Elliott had runs of 54 and 85 yards using the same play the pin and pull outside zone. Tennessee runs this same play. They broke it out for the first time against Bowling Green and scored three touchdowns with it. And they even used Josh Dobbs as the runner with the pin and pull outside zone for a 62 yard gain against Florida. I think the Vols can have some success by stretching Alabama's defense horizontally in the run game and vertically in the passing game. Bama has given up 21 passing plays of 20 or more yards. That's the most in the SEC. Other spread teams have had success with intermediate to deeper passes down the sideline against Alabama. Tennessee hit on a couple of these against Georgia. They'll need to do it some more against the Tide. Another play to keep an eye on, the run pass option. It's given Alabama trouble since that Iron Bowl game a couple years ago, and Ole Miss got a huge play out of one of these in their win in Tuscaloosa. After Chad Kelly makes his keep read on the zone read, he has another read to make, make a throw or keep running. The defender plays the run, so he flips it to Cody Core for a 73-yard touchdown. Tennessee uses run pass option plays, but I haven't seen them run one like that yet this season. If they've got it, this week would be a perfect time to break it out. Dobbs would be deadly on a play like that. Alabama's defense is extremely tough and talented, but they haven't seen a quarterback like Dobbs or a spread to run offense like Tennessee's yet this season. I think we'll see a very good ball game this weekend that gets this rivalry back to where it used to be.